Hi, Anthony. Yeah, hi, Nancy. How are you doing today? Good, thank you. Awesome. So Anthony was just telling me about the results of some partnerships they've done that really are helping to further solutions in terahertz probing, which obviously is a very burgeoning market in the microwave industry. Can you give us a little bit more detail on that? Yes, of course. So Cascade Marketech have created a solutions program which is selecting the best of breed partners to work with Cascade Microtech on specific applications. So we like to choose partners who have proven solutions out there, who've been known to work with customers and get good results. So with DMPI, what we've done is selected the best in breed partner for doing terahertz probing measurements. And the DMPI probes complement the Cascade Microtech probe product line and also our probe station line to offer our customers terahertz solutions up to 1.1 terahertz. So what we're showing here is an example of how we've integrated the DMPI probe onto a, uh, a Cascade probe station solution. So the probe itself is mounted via a piece of waveguide onto the VDI frequency extender head. And that's seamlessly integrated into the positioner where the movement of the probe is coupled to the positioner. So everything moves together in X, Y, and Z. And then the position itself is mounted on one of our probe stations, and that could be the Summit, Elite, or the EPS probe station itself. And that way you're allowed to do two port measurements with frequencies up to 1.1 terahertz. Anthony, what best practices have been established for terahertz measurement? Well, for the extensive measurements we took uh, during factory measured performance testing, where we were benchmarking the best configurations and best calibrations for terahertz measurements, we determined because of the small wavelength at 1.1 terahertz and even up to 750 gigahertz, um, the actual probe placement accuracy is critical in the performance and the accuracy of the calibration. So when using the DMPI probes to these very high frequencies, we recommend to our customers that they use our semi-automatic probe stations with our programmable positioners, which not only allows an automated calibration, including TRL calibration, but also makes sure we have submicron accuracy when putting the probes down onto the calibration standards. Excellent. And are there other customer benefits to this approach? There are. So by choosing a single partner for a particular application, what we can do then is characterize that solution and validate and qualify the solution to make sure that we can define the best in, uh, the best practices for making the best possible measurements and define the, the most optimal configuration for our customers. And we pass that knowledge on to our customers so it saves them time up front in configuring a solution to make their measurements. Mm -hmm. And with terahertz measurements being such a growing but also really still a new field for a lot of people, with that's new applications, that's more essential than ever. That's right. So about six months ago when I talked to customers about terahertz applications, no one really knew what they would use terahertz for. Mm -hmm. But talking to customers now, there's lots of applications, and not only including astronomy, but also things like imaging, mm -hmm. where customers uh, want to use terahertz for determining early uh, detection of cancer. So it's a non-iodizing way of doing uh, imaging of the body. Also using it for imaging of the teeth for early decay. Um, and then there's security applications where not only can we use imaging of terahertz for detecting weapons, explosives and drugs on people or in packages, but also tell what type of drugs or chemicals that they might be used in the explosives. Mm -hmm. So what Cascade does is we allow our customers to get to their first measurement faster mm -hmm. with trust and confidence. And we do this by passing our knowledge of our center of expertise and our configurations which have been proven and qualified to work onto the customer. Excellent. Well, obviously, we'll, we'll, at Microbes and RF, we'll be watching for those emerging terahertz applications, and we're very excited about you supporting them. Thank you very much. Thanks.